pulling on this middle ball. How is that not some not pulling it through the earth? And you're going to around extra force pulling it that way. But if we go over to this side, Should the it change? moon is over between the sun and the earth. Yeah. Why it is the gravity of the sun not, not take that little ball and just suck it off? Yeah. And there's gravitational forces, but here it's everything is always pulling that way towards the sun because that's the biggest force. So now how is it that the moon is here and doesn't get pulled that way? Or here? Now here it's blocking some gravity maybe, interfering. But when you get around here, it's not. Now it's a straight force. I'd be interested to see how strong that effect is. I would say there probably is an effect. I don't know how... Science, well, it's pretty strong. Science it holds says the a smaller the object is pulled to the bigger object. Is that what it says? That's what you told me. Uh, that Sounds because repeat of that. mass, repeat that, Pat. Uh, that would be the smaller object that's pulled towards the larger object. Yeah, right, that's true. Gravity. <coughs> because of gravity. Now, it pulled, gets pulled toward, has a pull on it, but to say that it gets pulled toward, like no, I have... the center of this have... creates gravitational forces. Yeah. So here would be pulled to the center of this ball. <coughs> that's, what you're, that's what gravity says. That's what that it everything says. Everything out here gets pulled to the center. I, I see what you're saying. I, I, I don't know how that works because I'm not an aerospace engineer. I, I don't you said all the water gets science. pulled to the center Everything of the earth. That's, the that's, the that's how comes that spin off. Right? How does a company they're, point they're, north in Australia? They're, they're, <laughs> How's it go around the curve? That's a whole other issue. They're, um, <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Wow. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, what way you're pointing? The, 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 the sun, the, why does the sun pull it in and why does the moon come crashing into Earth? This is pulled to the sun, correct? Pulling it in place throughout its orbit, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that means that this, because of all the gravitational forces everywhere involved, says that this creates an orbit around that because that is bigger than this and size matters. Well, I would so say then that the, the moon is in fact in orbit around the sun if the Earth is in orbit around the sun. Don't disagree. They're both orbiting I'm not around the sun. Correct. And and as well, I'm, I'm just trying to concept. I'm just trying to conceptualize right. this. As so so, if Earth is moving in an orbit like this, mm -hmm. then the Moon is over here. It's getting pulled in some direction. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I could like map and be out pulled the, to the middle of that ball. But the, that's what science says. You'll have to agree at some point it's going to be a little bit different on one side <laughs> than another. Even I think they would cross at some the, the lines would sort of cross. It would look a little bit like a squiggly line. Right, the, exactly. The moon yeah, would look a little squiggly. Right. And, and, and that would lend the, the sun's gravity may look like that. It may okay, have, for that Where's squiggly. that tomato at? Him yeah. Where's that tomato? Give me that tomato. <laughs> Put the earth this? back down, make believe it's spinning. Forming, <laughs> <laughs> not spinning. No, it's spinning too. Okay. Well, yes, yes, Okay. Now we don't have to move it. We'll just make believe that it's spinning and orbiting. Okay. Now my point is, forget about all the spinning and orbiting. We'll just agree to. Uh, I'll agree that this, if you do that everything's spinning and orbiting for this theory. Okay. When the moon is here, it also goes around, orbits around the Earth, correct? Yes. What stops the sun from pulling the moon away? That's my only question. The I'd say the gravitational force of Earth is probably stronger than the gravitational force of the sun yeah. because it's proximity. Okay. Uh, here, that the orbit would have nothing to do because it's backwards. If it's over here far away, that means it's even further away from this. So it I should be saying, going right to the sun. saying when it's on the other side, you got two different separate forces. Yeah, it's, it's, it's two forces. It can be the on. same on both sides. Well, boom, boom. It's yeah. like a bullet. Shoot right through that thing and go right to the sun. And again, I can't speak, say I'm not an aerospace engineer. Oh, no, this is just I common have, sense. Well, you say common sense. I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm using my common okay. sense to try to... Point of fact. With the information Every time the Mars and Moon and Jupiter is lined up, the uh, what was it, the earthquake in Japan, Fukushima, okay, March 11th, that was because they were all lined up and the gravitational pull affected, and boom, that happened. Well, a girl and 14-year-old girl somewhere predicted that was going to happen that day. So, you know, gravitational.
gravitational pull of one planet is lined up. It's, it's really simple science. I mean, it's it, 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 uh, it does affect it now. That's I, I, I'd be skeptical of it. Of You'd be skeptical of real science that everybody believes? <laughs> now, you're, now you're not want to believe uh, what everybody believes. Don't go words. No, no, this is what all that's of what us you were just taught. Said. This is what you were taught in school, that gravity from the Earth holds the moon in orbit. Correct? The center yes. of the Earth. Yes. The center of the sun holds the orbit of the Earth. Correct? Now let's put those two forces together. If the gravitational pull of the sun is pulling on the earth, logic, common sense, or anything else says, it would also pull on the moon. Here you have double forces. Sun, earth. Here you have separated forces. Earth, sun. Possibly those forces aren't as strong as you would consider them. Yeah. But it's strong enough to hold all the, the planets. That's the point. Right? right? Through the universe. If it's holding Pluto, what can it do? Sucking that sand. That's just okay. that. That's, and the moon doesn't spin either. So that's always facing the same. So it says that the Earth spins to hold itself in place. Well, actually, they say so that, that, that the that's moon technically rotates. correct. The Earth does spin, or the moon does spin. Not on its orbit. Yes, it does not spin on its axis. That's correct, yes. That's my point. So that's kind of, oh, this is a, uh, oh no, this is somebody told me else. It's a, it's a friend of mine. I was expecting a YouTube call. You can right. take it. Here, I'll take it. But, you know, kind of getting back to like the whole North Star hey, game stuff, and, you know, we're only uh, you're talking me about the Earth, yeah. Earth thing, or circling the sun. I'm but, sorry, I missed the, I missed the whole thing. I don't even remember what I said at the beginning. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, you know, we're, we're only talking about the gravity of the moon, or gravity of the earth pulling this and rotating the moon rotating around the earth because of that. And then we're talking about the sun, or the moon, or the earth rotating around the sun and the gravitational force of that. But we're leaving out another one. And that's the fact that the sun is moving over 600,000 miles an hour to the inner rotation through the Milky Way, through the Milky Way. And then the Milky Way on top of that is moving at like a, however many millions of miles, whatever it is, around the great attractor. We don't see any parallax in any of the stars and all these other universes as we're constantly changing by the minute our location comparatively to everything else out in, this, out in the universe. I would disagree with that and I have evidence to prove otherwise. Disagree with what? The, that we don't see that parallax. I could, I could show you photos of that. Um, of no, that parallax that we see year to year. Um, yeah, may I bring my tech book? Here, go ahead. What was it, Aries failure where it filled the telescope up with uh, water? Right. We need to, I need to show just the, the, the picture of us flying through space. That's what he needs to look at. All of those things are flying through space. But no, nothing ever, that. nothing ever, the, that one star is always in the same spot. Yeah. How is that possible? It's, yeah. it's not. We're, we're able to observe, in this case it's Bernard's star, and we're able to observe 10.3 arc seconds of movement between the years 2000 and 2001. Because you... Um, well, we can observe that relative to the, the other stars there. These stars here have not moved, um, and this star has. Bernard's star has moved. And Bernard's star is one of the... Jack, your buddy. Well, what's up, you little bastard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went on quite the adventure. <laughs> mm. Oh, I want to deal with him, but I also want to finish with this Um, yeah. So we're able to observe that this star moved 10.3 arc seconds of, of, of movement here relative to these other stars, which remains more or less stationary compared to them. And that's because this star is significantly closer than the other stars in the background, so we're able to observe more of that parallax, more of that movement. Okay, so, so I'll give that to you, right? We'll give you that little movement right there. But still, it doesn't explain how much movement there actually should be. Flying through space. Like, it should yeah. just be Between crazy. everything. Yeah. Everything, yeah. everything yeah. that we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. But, but every science experiment is that okay. okay. everything but comes to Everything earth. else should oh. just be going crazy. Okay. Man, it's a big universe. It is a big, big universe. And, and Do you believe that? That's what they want you to believe. Yeah. That little bit of distance there, man, that represents a large distance that we have moved. And when we look at that in comparison 
to the enormous distances of those stars in the background. Yeah, it's really tough to see that movement. Um, and, and, and that's all that I can say. Is that it's, it's massive. I got another one for you. The uh, apogee and perigee of the Earth. Apogee is when we're close, perigee is when we're far. So there's points when the Earth is closer to the Sun, okay. and there's points when there's time when the Earth is further. Yeah, it moves in a bit of an ellipse. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ellipse. Ellipse. Do you know what time of year we're at the nearest point to the Sun for the Earth? I don't. December. Okay. That's the coldest time of the year, pretty much. For us. So when we're closest to the sun, we're cold. That's not a real Except for in Australia. Right. Yeah. But we're talking, you know, with the with the heat that the sun puts out, you know, and we're talking millions of miles between the apogee and the perigee. I mean, this should make a big difference on. Well, let well, me yeah. say that, but millions of miles on what scale? You know, like twenty-four thousand miles scale. Well, the sun is I mean, what ninety-three so million miles away. If it's yeah. enough, to, yeah. if the tilt is enough to change the seasons, if yeah. you go, if the Earth goes We're any farther away, you're seventy miles. Yeah, you're, you're, it should turn into a ball of ice when it goes well, to that period. What we're able to observe here is here months, this is December twenty-second. Show him that. Stop the, that. Show him that one. Oh I've, I've seen that. I've seen that. Um, that doesn't um, show that we're flying through space at some ungodly speed. Well, that this model may be exaggerated. Oh, in order to show that. science no, model may be exaggerated. No, no, our planets are not that close to the sun. Like this is to get on, it on the screen, but you're getting. Well, no, when I say that it's a model, it's a representation. You know, if if we were to draw the solar system to scale. It would be ridiculous. It would be. It would My be, guy did it. They did it in California. Oh, Salt Lake, and, and, Salt and you Lake. can, but you can't pick. You show. can't show that. It was picture. flat. I have. Yeah, but but our planets, they're not relatively that close to one another. On their it's space. still spinning yeah. through, through space. But when you see it move, yeah, but, but it's not on that scale. It's on a much different scale, and that matters substantially. If you ignore that scale, then yeah, it's gonna look crazy. But we've been but traveling this through space for a million years, supposedly, and you've got five degrees, you say, off that thing. It's moved this much. It should be as soon as you cut off of the planet at 17,500 miles an hour. Your little jet plane would be sitting in space, and the moon and the Earth would fly well, well, by you'd that. be in the middle of space. You assume that, but, but that sounds like an assumption to me. It, we do well, observe. We us? do observe the stars change, and over time, the constellations do change. If, if you look back, two thousand years, I believe that the constellation charts would look slightly different than the constellation Every six charts. Months, no. they should be totally the different. Well, why? Why do you say that? And because of this, Since the beginning of time. Slightly Wait, different. Uh, over all the time, it's getting slightly uh, different. Here's the I think like this, right? that's it, crazy. Hey, off, you, you, right? Right? you know it's Delaria, right? Everything else is going yes. around. You used to be able to go back even more than 6,000 years. Yeah, you used to be able to go forward more than, I think you can only go forward like a thousand years or something like that now because by yeah, then, one we should be seeing the, that, the change right? of the new star to a new so star. That means in six months, and so they stopped showing it. We're going to be able to get back to the other side of the sun, right? Yes. Okay. Would you agree that the nighttime sky off in this direction is totally different than the nighttime sky off in that direction? Wait, the in, in that direction? I, I, don't, I don't quite follow. I thought so I was say, going right. All right, say, say you're right here. Yeah, sure. Okay. Stand right Earth. 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 You're you're stand you stand sideways. Y'all going to stand sideways? Okay, you're right here on this side. The sky over here is different than if this is over here and you're facing that way. The, the nighttime sky. Is so no, I would disagree with that. I, I, I can show you why. No, but okay, so I, I know that you wouldn't disagree with it because you have to... You have the sun here, right? And it's charging along in a, well, you a say straight it's path. Charging. I, I say it's trucking along. What are you doing? <laughs> you say it's speed. speed. I would argue that on, on a universal scale, it's it's not charging. It's slugging along. It's okay, whether it's slugging along, along or not, yeah, we're yeah. going to be rotate every six months. Right. We're going to be on a total opposite side of the sun. What are you right? saying? So nighttime is on this side of the Earth over here when the Earth's over here. And nighttime on this on this is over there. So when you look out into the night sky when the when the Earth is on this side of the sun over here, your night sky is going to be way the hell over there. When the sun six 